You're listening to 30 Pounds Down, where losing weight is simplified with healthy habits and your God-given gifts and passion to build a healthy body and lifestyle. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. So if you want to know how to give your body the nutrition it needs to fuel your dreams and to function at its best, you're in the right place. I'm Glenda Hill, a Christian wife and nurse turned holistic nutritionist. I offer you resources and biblical insights to help you lose weight without the fear of regaining the weight back. I share strategies that work and are aligned with God's plan to prosper you in health and life. All right, let's go to the show. Hey friend, welcome, welcome. We're talking about 3 John 2 and it is a Bible verse that states that God desires for us to be prosperous in every way and in be in good health, even as our soul prospers. And so we can interpret this as an encouragement to strive for overall well-being, both physical and spiritual. And as we build on that, as we uh, do all we can to contribute to our own physical well-being, it's going to have a positive impact on our wealth and prosperity and spiritual prosperity as well. So we want to make sure that we are doing everything we can to be living our lives according to God's plan. So we must trust him. So how do we trust him with our weight loss, our wealth, our wellness? Well, the way to do that is to guard against the spirit of intimidation. And it's hard to recognize, but if you've ever felt confident that you can lose weight or you can accomplish anything in any area of your life and you felt confident but then suddenly you were faced with seasons of doubt or low self-esteem just out of nowhere you just started feeling like you were unworthy or insecure well that's a spirit of intimidation and it makes us feel like something is wrong with us but in fact we are under attack And that is why we look inward and we say, well, what's wrong with me? But it's not what's wrong with me. It's that we are under attack. And so we need to look into the Bible and see where we can learn some lessons. So let's take a practical lesson from the Bible. God provided ancient Israel with abundance. I mean, health. I mean, wealth. He gave it to them. But they borrow trouble for the future. And by that, I mean, they, they stop trusting God. They close their eyes to his goodness and mercy. And they just chose to start complaining about how he was leading them on their journey. And that's the journey through the wilderness, their journey through being established in Canaan land and, and then having a king. They had good kings. They had bad kings. And all through their journey, they saw the goodness of God. They saw his mercies in their lives, but yet they chose to complain about how he was leading them on their journey in life. And so in light of their experience, we don't want to repeat their mistake. So to trust God is to trust in his promises. So here are the simple steps to start trusting God for weight loss, wealth, and wellness. Trust in his promises. Pray for the blessings. Believe that you will have them and go about your daily duties, feeling assured that the blessings will come when you need them most. Trust and believe and you don't take your eyes off of the goodness and mercies of God. Don't start complaining about how he's leading you on your journey. That's very important. And then When you realize that you're under attack by that spirit of intimidation, you're starting to doubt God, starting to doubt what you're doing in your life, how he has led you so far. You have to do a counterattack and shut that down. And the way you do that is pray this promise. It's the promise of 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. For God hath not given us the spirit of fear, but of power and of love 
and of a sound mind. So my friend, be of good courage and do the things that is conducive to total wellness. That means your body, your mind, your physical being, all of that. You want to do things in your life that's conducive to total wellness. So I want to give you a few practical things that you can do for weight loss. And that is to eat the best healthy foods. I want you to really invest in your food because it's what's going to nourish you. It's what's going to build your body and keep you strong. So I really want you to make a wealth investment in your body by giving yourself the best healthy food. Of course, you don't want to overeat and you want to eat what's easy to digest. What that means is you may look on the internet and they give you a list of the most easy to digest foods, but you don't want to go by that list. You want to go by what your body can digest easily. And that's important because what you can digest is how your body absorbs the nutrients. And that's the purpose of eating in the first place. So we want to eat the best food. Don't be afraid to invest in the best food possible. And then another thing is to maintain a healthy weight, you want to stay physically active, which means you want to do exercise or daily chores that, you know, work up a, a sweat, maybe outdoor sports activities. But the problem I see among our sisters in Christ is that they wear exercise clothes that are really too tight. Did you know that wearing tight spandex or other materials like that, that clogs your skin pores and it restricts your breathing. So you're out there trying to do your workout and you really can't go as far or as long as you would like to because your body can't breathe. You don't realize it when you're exercising, but your body is trying to breathe. It's trying to make that exchange with all the oxygen and, and things like that. So if you're wearing tight clothes, it's going to make it harder for you to reach your weight loss goals because restricting your breathing and clogging your pores is going to lead to a host of health issues. So you want to invest in loose fitting clothes breathable material that helps you to exercise more and to exercise longer for a longer period of time. And you can do that when you feel more comfortable in your clothes. You don't have any restriction and your skin can breathe. Now you may think, wow, this is way out there as a health tip. It's really important. I mentioned these practical tips about eating the best quality food and paying the money doing what you need to do to buy the clothes that promote health because God wants us to invest money in our health. The body is the temple of the Holy Spirit and we are to be good stewards of our earnings by investing in our health. When you have a healthy body, you'll be able to earn more money throughout your lifetime. You'll have a longer life. This means that when you have a healthy body, you reduce the risk of chronic health conditions, which leads to fewer medical expenses. And when you are healthy, you have a healthy way, you're able to work more efficiently and be more productive. And so that can lead to increased earning potential and business opportunities. And, you know, I'm not saying that earning power is what being wealthy is all about because we don't want to measure our wealth that way, but we do want to use wisely all the means and the resources that God provides. So I hope I've shared something with you that maybe you never thought of. Maybe you never thought that the reason why you are not trusting or you're not moving ahead is because you're under attack, under that spirit of intimidation. And I want you to be free of that. Don't forget 2 Timothy chapter 1, verse 7. God has not given us a spirit of fear, but of power, of love, and a sound mind. And then also you want to make sure that your habits are in line with his desire for you to prosper and be in health even as your soul prospers. My friend, I hope this word has blessed you today. Thanks for listening to 30 Pounds Down. Subscribe and join me next week for more real talk on Christian weight loss. Peace to you and have a great day.